This is the quietest room. And this is the loudest. We're going to be seeing what the loudest sound sounds like in each of these rooms. I'm here at 3M who invited me to come check out their innovation center and show me around their campus. But on site they have these two really cool rooms. This one is called an anechoic chamber. The walls, floors, and ceilings are designed to almost instantly absorb all the sound emitted, so there's no reflection of sound at all. Whoa, it like, so it like closes like in on me. It like, like closes it's in only on me. me. <laughs> all right, so now what in the world? The okay, that it feels is like my head is way more weird than I thought. I feel like I'm like plugging my ears and talking. It's just like such a big difference when you turn your head. It's a big difference. In a normal room, it kind of doesn't matter whether you're facing the person or not. I just thought it'd be a quiet room, but yeah. it it like changes how you hear things. Yeah. Like it's just it's almost like there's pressure. Yeah, it's a it really it's does different. feel like like I said like that you're poking yeah. on pulled in your ears closed or something. You know, you hear like the silent, you know, that saying the silence was deafening. That's really, it's just like, it's almost like it's loud. Yeah. The silence is loud. It's like. You are correct. This room gets exceedingly loud inside my head in about two minutes. Then this room is called a reverberation chamber. It's basically the opposite of the anechoic chamber. It reflects almost all the sound that hits it. So the point of this room is to make sure the sound gets reflected and so that you don't create standing waves. They want to avoid standing waves, so they have this mixer that turns around and bounces the sound waves off so that no standing waves can form. And that's why these panels are up in the corner as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start talking, then I'm gonna walk away from the camera. And you'll notice that as I keep talking, it gets more and more muddled the further I get away from the camera until eventually you probably can't even hear what I'm saying. The further I get away from the camera, you just can't really hear what I'm saying because the echo from the room just gets a lot more turned on and all the sound going around all the time so you can't even hear what I'm saying. If you remember a while ago, I made a video about the world's darkest room and I painted a room with Musso Black, the world's darkest paint that absorbed all the light that hit it. Then I made a room completely out of mirrors. The anechoic chamber is the equivalent of the darkest room because it absorbs all the sound waves and the reverberation chamber is the equivalent of the mirror room because it reflects all the sound waves. So as promised, let's see what a few different sounds sound like in here. Okay, first we're just gonna try popping a balloon. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> that is crazy. Like the actual sound energy isn't more, it's just that it doesn't get absorbed anywhere, so it just keeps going around you, so it sounds much more, just it sounds louder because it stays there. Okay, now here's a balloon pop in the anechoic chamber. <laughs> it's just like a boop, just like a little tiny pressure wave gone. <laughs> okay, air horn. Whoa, that goes a long time. So I don't think you get to hear what the air horn sounds like because we broke it, but... Okay, so it still works. Now let's try the world's loudest sound. What does that mean? Well, I went and bought the world's loudest whistle. This can get as loud as 142 decibels, which sounds louder than a gunshot. So I brought air protection with this whistle. Let's try it. Air protection on. Loud, go. So you got it, 120.5. <laughs> it blows your face <laughs> off. It ends. It just ends as soon as it's done. This is done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> There's nothing after. So this would be somewhat equivalent to standing in a large empty field with nothing around you whatsoever. Any sound that you let out just disappears into the void. Only you can never really get rid of the ground that you're standing on in a big open field. But in this chamber, even the floor is absorbing, so it's like floating in an empty void. No sound gets back to you whatsoever. So when you don't emit any sound, this chamber is completely silent. 
Not only because no sound is reflected, but also because it's completely isolated from the outside world. Now what would be so cool is to paint this room with Musso Black so you have a room that absorbs all the light and also all the sound. It'd be like you're floating in the void of space or something. And I want to thank 3M for sponsoring this video. I was blown away by the things that 3M showed me at their innovation center. I couldn't believe how integrated 3M is into almost every product that we use on a regular basis. From cell phones to roof tiles and medical equipment and even stop signs. Some of the technology they showed me I had never even heard of before. This company is changing the world for the better and it was a pleasure to have a peek at the reach of their technology and innovation. Hey, we've got a problem. We've got a balloon down there. A little piece of balloon. And we got to go down to this Normally groundless... people don't go down here, but there's some metal pieces you can walk on, not the mesh below. If not, you just fall into an abyss and you're never seen It'll again. It'll be the second people in human history to walk down here. Except for everyone who installed the panels. Them too. <laughs> you guys okay down there? So that was way more of a process to get in here than I thought. It's not just like a ladder, yeah. A ladder with two doors of pulling off into it. Yeah, that's not even my balloon. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, and we'll see you next time.